I'm a farm animal vet from the Welsh borders. Much of my job involves preventative healthcare of flocks and herds that I work with. However, I started to notice that compared to infectious diseases, gut parasite problems are treated rather than prevented. I was also seeing wormers that just weren't working. This is called anthelmintic resistance, where the wormer is not effective against the parasite it is targeting. So why does this matter? The way we farm sheep in the UK is perfect for gastrointestinal parasites, and our use of wormers over the years have meant the worms have evolved to no longer be affected. Already, 34% of UK farms can't use at least two types of wormer. If this continues, there will be no wormers that work and little options to turn to. So how do we stop this happening? I wanted to see if this was happening in other parts of the world and what they were doing about it. So I packed up and moved to New Zealand, a country renowned for its sheep farming, with five sheep for every person. In the six months working there, I found farmers struggling with similar problems. Wormers not working and sheep not thriving, but also people with actionable solutions they have shown to work on their farms. In Kenya, I saw easy access to unregulated medications compromising treatments, alongside alternative methods of pest management that could be adapted to field use in sheep worms. While on a mega dairy farm in Saudi Arabia, structured disease prevention programs and consistent management are able to reduce production limiting impacts. But how are these learnings useful to the everyday sheep farmer? Farmers who have reversed resistance on their farms advise that the first step is to understand what drenches work on your farm. If you don't know which anthelmintic group kills the parasites on your farm, how do you pick which wormer to use? Luckily, this is an easy test. It just involves picking up some poo. Testing faeces is so important for information gathering and the faecal egg count can be used in so many ways. Understanding if sheep need drenching rather than treating just because they look wormy is key. Artificial intelligence is disrupting the technology in this area, allowing accessible, advanced diagnostics. Management practices without chemical input can alter parasite pasture burdens and therefore what the animal picks up when grazing. Refugia is leaving some animals untreated and a powerful tool for preventing and reversing resistance, both through rotational grazing, mixing stock classes and targeting drench treatments. This wouldn't have been possible without the support of my sponsors, the Worshipful Company of Farmers with Savills and the Royal Welsh Agricultural Society. Thank you.